Ever heard of medullary cystic kidney disease? No? Well, you're about to. Medullary cystic kidney disease, or MCKD for short, is a rare condition where cysts form in the center of the kidneys and scarring occurs in the tubules. This leads to the production of diluted urine and excessive urination, and can even progress to kidney failure. MCKD is closely related to juvenile nephronophthysis and comes in two types, type 1 and 2, affecting different age groups. It's a mouthful, isn't it? But don't worry, we'll break it down. Now, how do doctors find out if you have MCKD? The diagnosis process for medullary cystic kidney disease typically involves a combination of tests. Blood and urine tests are the first line of defense, helping physicians to detect any abnormalities that may point to MCKD. If these tests suggest the presence of the disease, doctors may then utilize imaging tests, such as CT scans and ultrasounds. These can provide a detailed view of the kidneys revealing any cysts or scarring indicative of MCKD. It's all about catching it early. What signals should you look out for? When it comes to medullary cystic kidney disease, the signs can be subtle. One of the most common symptoms is frequent urination, often a result of the kidneys producing diluted urine. You might also experience fatigue, a general feeling of being drained or worn out. Pain can occur too, often in the back or sides, near where the kidneys are located. These symptoms can be easy to brush off, but they are your body's way of signaling that something isn't right. Remember, if you're feeling off, it's always best to check in with a doctor. You might be wondering just how common is MCKD? Well, medullary cystic kidney disease is indeed a rarity. It's a global condition, but its distribution isn't uniform. The incidence rate of MCKD isn't precisely known due to underdiagnosis and misdiagnosis, but it's generally agreed that it's quite low. This disease doesn't discriminate affecting diverse populations across the globe. But remember, even though it's rare, it's very real for those affected. Rare but real. That's MCKD for you. Does it matter if you're male or female when it comes to MCKD? Let's dive into the specifics. When considering the male-to-female ratio of those affected by medullary cystic kidney disease, it's essential to understand that this condition is an autosomal dominant genetic disorder. This means it does not favor one sex over the other. It can be inherited equally by both males and females. Therefore, the ratio of males to females with MCKD is typically around one to one. So, in the end, MCKD doesn't discriminate. It can affect anyone. So what happens after a diagnosis of MCKD? Well, the prognosis varies from person to person, largely dependent on how promptly the disease is detected and treated. Despite the challenges, many patients with MCKD lead fulfilling lives, thanks to advances in treatment strategies. Speaking of treatments, they primarily aim to manage symptoms and slow down the progression of the disease. Hydration is key, so increasing fluid intake is often recommended. This helps in the production of urine and reduces the risk of kidney stones. Another aspect of the treatment plan involves the use of salt supplements. These help balance the body's electrolytes, which are crucial for the functioning of cells and organs. In more severe cases, dialysis may be required. This process mechanically filters the blood, doing the job that healthy kidneys would do. And in some cases, a kidney transplant may be the best option. This involves replacing the diseased kidney with a healthy one from a donor. Remember, each patient's journey is unique and treatment plans are tailored to individual needs and circumstances. With proper treatment and care, people with MCKD can lead fulfilling lives. So, what's the take-home message here? Medullary cystic kidney disease, a rare genetic disorder, leads to the formation of cysts in the kidneys and excessive urination. Diagnosis involves blood and urine tests, with CT scans and ultrasounds providing a more detailed picture. Symptoms can be managed, and disease progression slowed with increased fluid intake, salt supplements, dialysis, or even kidney transplantation. The disease affects both men and women, but awareness and early diagnosis can improve survival rates. Remember, knowledge is power. Stay informed, stay healthy. Like, share, and subscribe.